In just minutes, we will mark two years since one of the darkest days in Orlando history. June 12, 2016, 49 people were killed, 53 others were hurt at the Pulse nightclub. Tonight, hundreds of people gathered to call for tougher gun laws. New 6's Eric Sandoval is at Pulse with more on tonight's event, all new at 11. It was right around this time two years ago when people were streaming into Pulse nightclub getting ready for a night out. That night ended in terror and gunfire. Tonight, survivors of Pulse and of Parkland gathered right up the street at Orlando City Hall. More than 200 people braved tonight's thunderstorms to stand in the rain, hold signs, and call for tougher gun laws. So disarm the hate. Let's all get together, get past our differences, and get this thing done. Laura Sheehy's daughter, Allie, survived the shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. She was here tonight. To the politicians, I hope you hear our screams now because they're only growing louder. She, he joined family members who lost loved ones in the Pulse nightclub shooting here in Orlando that happened two years ago tomorrow. Family members like Maria Wright. My beloved son and 48 other sons and daughters, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, lovers and friends were ripped from our lives. But what is becoming so commonplace, we're beginning to accept it as normal. Pulse survivor Brandon Wolf, who helped organize this rally, claimed the government hasn't done enough to protect people in the wake of these two tragedies. Tonight, he urged people to use a different kind of weapon in this fight, a ballot. I am ready to vote. I am ready to march. I am ready to speak and rally. I am ready to honor my best friends with action. In downtown Orlando, Eric Sandoval, News 6. We asked Governor Scott for a comment on tonight's rally. His office says they have put millions of dollars toward terrorism task forces and signed legislation to keep firearms out of the hands of dangerous individuals. To read his full statement and find ways to honor the victims two years later, head to clickorlando.com pulse.